Hey guys, welcome to Andy's Gaming and welcome back to Lynn the Lightbringer. I just wanted to give you a quick overview, account update, where I'm at, um, how I'm going with the team, how I've progressed, um, just to give you guys a bit of an insight into where we've gotten to over the last month or so. Um, it's been a little while since I've done an update, probably the last one I think was just after Christmas. And there's been a lot going on since then. I've, I've actually, I think I've improved pretty, pretty decently um, over the last few weeks. Uh, in particular, one of the major things that has happened has been that I've actually gotten strong enough now to do pretty much all the Abyss level Essence Fields. Um, let's have a look at this. Um, and that's actually meant that I've uh, increased the amount of 5 star Essence that I'm getting. Which has now snowballed into me actually being able to um, produce a lot more Transcendent Stones. Uh, to transcend the heroes further, which is uh, fantastic. So that's been really good. Um, just getting the main uh, ancient heroes in the team up uh, and also uh, doing more world raid and trying to combine to get some ancient um, cubes so that I can actually increase the um, enhancement of the particular ancient heroes in the team that I'm not getting duplicates of, um, you know, reasonably regularly um, so as you can see I mean my CP is fairly sort of fairly low still but in actual fact I'm kind of able to clear quite high CP requirement um, levels with this team um, the other uh, the other bit of news is that I've actually managed to secure Yuria as well so I'll be actually starting to hopefully get her to a point where she'll be able to take over from shining um, there's a little way to go yet to doing that um, before she's sort of strong enough to really take that role. But I'm really looking forward to getting her into that line um, in the formation because it'll really do a lot for crit rate and that will help my overall damage output quite immensely. So Shining is not too bad but her passive line um, buff isn't fantastic so it's not that great. I actually think right now where she is it's applying <laughs> Um, it's applying to the back row and I've only got a healer in there so um, yeah it's not ideal um, in terms of other uh, hero drops I'm also building out um, uh, what's her name Zuri I'm also building out Zuri as well um, and I'm also building up Fenrir as well just uh, Vlatka as well I'm putting some time into um, pretty much trying to get all the main players um, haven't focused on Lilith or Rua yet trying to get all the main uh, magic damages that are pretty good for the meta right now for world raid and PvP so that's kind of my current focus is really trying to improve world raid and PvP numbers um, Mainly because that's where I kind of feel like I'm mostly lacking at this point. On top of that, I'm doing um, improving the rares, so I'm actually investing in Jean. I want to awaken Jean as soon as possible, um, as well as Leora. So lots going on, lots um, happening. Being able to get more essence um, by both purchasing in shops as well as by getting um, the maximum five star essences I can get drop from um, the essence fields has been really great so uh, yeah that's really helped a lot um, and uh, really good for progress in terms of the main team I've also pretty much swapped out Reyna for a more attack focused Tyron um, that's helped a lot more as well with some of the uh, content in episode 3 that I was struggling to actually do enough damage to clear I wasn't dying but I wasn't actually I didn't have a high enough DPS output to actually uh, get through it within the time limit. So Tyron's helped heaps there um, just because he's a little bit more of a damager. And um, and yeah, he's got a decent AoE attack as well, um, I think, with his ultimate. So that's helped a lot. Um, but mostly, really, I've just been investing everything, focusing everything in on Loki, his gear set. Um, as well as uh, transcending him as much as I can and started to put more into Rosetrian but yeah looking at those two as the main kind of damages right now and I've halted any further development of um, Shine 
um, just due to the fact that I I'm going to be getting My rid course. of her and bringing in uh, Uria in her place. So yeah, that that's pretty much it. That's where I'm at with the team. Um, and uh, yeah, I've done uh, some some um, videos around cubes, so I'm just sort of looking at focusing on getting as much world raid done as I can, getting those rare cubes so I can actually um, put some stuff Leave into Leora and Jean. Uh, mainly because I don't get any drops uh, frequently, like any, in any summons I very rarely get either of those two um, dropping as rares, so um, so yeah, it's really about getting the cubes in to, to get them enhanced up to plus six. Um, so that's the team as far as the team goes, um, and uh, from perspective of raid, still just doing Glucky uh, on hard mode, just really just farming it for um, the chests. Uh, and the drops there, nothing too exciting going on, mostly just autoplay. Um, and yeah, I'm just really trying to get my dailies done so that I can progress through the rewards and up the amount of red diamonds I'm actually getting um, as well in the week. So um, focusing more with red diamonds, if you have a look at my summoning session, I've been focusing more on uh, the rate up banner for the gear at the moment specifically now really trying to get the treasures themselves for the particular heroes um, hopefully the ancient ones but um, but you know settling for any legendary treasures that drop as well um, so yeah starting to focus more on the minute details of the heroes um, and the substats of the gear as well so for uh, Loki as an example um, I actually threw away some gear that he had that wasn't Justice. ideal with the substats um, and really just focused on building out um, stuff that had uh, crit rate, crit damage um, and attack. Uh, so anything that sort of increased the crit rate, that's really what I've put in there, so attack speed and crit rate. Um, and done away with the stuff that he had that wasn't fitting the substats that I wanted. Even though some of the equipment's not ideal, it's got you know either lower than six star rating or it's um, of epic or legendary grade. Um, I still think that's better just to kind of keep him on the um, on the crit wagon, which overall I think is doing a much better job of um, uh, doing enough DPS to get through the content. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment, and I'm just sort of swapping things out as I get better stuff. So for example, I'm keen to get rid of this treasure as soon as possible looking for a um, the same sort of goes for Rosetrian um, looking to start getting her um, crit rate up as well um, one thing I'm also doing is just researching a little bit more about what's sort of more suitable from a substat perspective you know what's the gear I really should be targeting um, either in content drops or in chest um, chest drops so yeah, sort of doing a little bit more finessing um, overall of the team. And then from World Raid perspective, I am just trying to get my Team 1 up to sort of a similar um, a similar CP rating as the other two teams. So right now I'm just using Team 1 as a kind of a, I guess, a bit of a um, distraction team. So hopefully Team 2 and 3 are doing all the damage while I'm sort of running around um, avoiding damage with team one and just trying to generally distract Gretchen from the other two teams. Um, I also want to put more into the actual team makeup as well. Um, I don't want to be using crystal and I want to sort of try and improve the amount um, of healing in the team and focusing more on a attack buffing uh, the rest of the team and kind of introduce um, a better, possibly I'd probably bring in um, I think Miriam here, I'll bring in her um, instead of Crystal, um, use Flat Car, um, maybe bring Heather in, I think it's Heather or Charlotte, I can't remember, possibly Charlotte, bring Charlotte in as well, um, and get Leora Awakened. Um, I don't think I actually need any defense in here as well, so I probably would look to add in Fenrir or someone, get someone else up to enough DPS to make them viable and the other teams improve the overall damage. Anyway, I'll be doing a bit of experimentation um, around World Raid 
in particular and just trying to get the number of chests dropping hopefully to be higher than what they are at the moment so I can increase the number of um, cubes I'm getting dropped. Anyway, that's kind of it from me. That's really the focus at the moment. Um, let me know how you guys are going. What are you focusing on? Whereabouts in the game are you? Um, and what sort of your priorities? I'm finding it really fun still. I'm still having a, a lot of um, a lot of fun just kind of seeing that small kind of incremental progress each day, um, whether it be collecting resources or crafting stuff or um, just you know those sort of little little steps that you take with skills and everything else um, there's so much customization it's it's been fantastic um, <clears throat> oh the other thing I'm also um, doing as well is looking at the potentials so that's something I'm not 100% certain of around what is a good um, set of potentials to invest in um, so I'm sort of still doing a little bit of research into that <clears throat> um, I've only kind of invested a little bit already in in terms of Loki, um, just seeing sort of how it all works out, uh, looking at attack, and I think I've gone into, um, I've implemented Wrath for the number two there, um, which increases attack again by, by a larger degree whenever he's sort of down on on uh, HP. Um, so yeah, so just playing around with that and looking more into more detail around what I should be doing there. If you got any ideas, tips, anything you want to uh, let me know about how you think I should progress um, this team anyone you think I should actually drop and swap in um, focus on someone else hopefully um, you feel like you can let me know and um, I'd really like to get your feedback on that I'm always always interested in what people are doing and how they think I should progress but anyway guys, that's it from me. Hopefully if you like this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. If you don't, that's okay. Just let me know why. I'm always looking to improve um, these videos. So they're for you. And uh, yeah, your feedback's always welcome. So guys, uh, whether it's nighttime or daytime, I hope you've had an amazing evening or a fantastic day. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. This is Andy, signing off. Bye.